So we're at the Mobile Europe European Communications IoT Conference and I'm very pleased to be joined by uh, Vincent from Proximus. Hi Vincent, great to see you. Now, earlier today you were talking about Proximus's use of LoRa technology and you've been quite the early adopter of this particular type of technology. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what you think its strengths are. Yes, uh, hi Graham and thank you for getting me here. Indeed, what what, what we've been looking at, it was uh, two years ago, was really uh, a technology that could uh, respond to uh, the issues or the demand that our customer had at that time. So we were looking for something ready. We, we wanted to, to start, start small and through tests grow to see indeed if we were able to answer those, uh, those questions with uh, doing pilots with the customer, what we did. This could be answered uh, positively. Uh, we've been uh, trying and looking at different technologies and definitely two years ago, uh, LoRa has been uh, has been our choice, and we've been uh, since then uh, deploying our network and launching commercially the offer. And next year we'll see the increased commercialization of narrowband IoT. And I know earlier you talked a little bit about the effects of that. Mm. Once that comes to market in earnest, how do you see the landscape changing? Will it be will it be a balance between the two technologies? Mm. Will LoRa continue to dominate? How will it shape up for Proximus? Well, uh, th there are several ways of looking at this. I, I think indeed the Nerovent IoT has a very, very strong background with uh, all the, the three GPP background and all the telcos there. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they will be strong and they will be there. Technology-wise, there are a few, a few differences. I think indeed that LoRa may be uh, stronger really in being effective in the, the power usage and also has a specific uh, positioning because it's unlicensed. So you, you see that with, with the unlicensed uh, technologies, you're also tackling uh, non-telco non plays and non-telco markets. And I think that's, that's how it will evolve. So I, I see this as two different markets with uh, slight overlap, but still with different use cases that the, the two technologies would, uh, uh, would uh, respond to. Uh, Proximus uh, will be uh, trying and testing narrowband uh, IoT as well, so it's, it's important for us to, to understand very well the, the strengths and, and see how this technology can be put at, uh, at profit of, of the customer and how we could, with those technologies, answer the, answer the demands uh, of the customers that we have. Do you think next year we'll see concerns about security being tackled in earnest, perhaps? Sec security is, is really key, and we've, we've heard about this this, uh, this morning as well. It has been a key aspect when we've been testing the technologies as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But security goes beyond, of course, the, the radio. It's really an end-to-end -end security that needs to be taken care of. And indeed, we are, I think, like was discussed this morning, only at the beginning of it. So we have also a, a, a pen testing uh, division within Proxima. So we, every time we, we launch something on the market, the security has a very important, uh, is an important topic but it will be really something we'll have to continue to look at in IoT. Excellent, look forward to seeing how that develops. Uh, Vincent Tambling, thank you very much. Thank you, Graham.